spot. And look who she just took it away from, no Julia Marino. <laughs> yes. Now, how does our defending slope-style gold medalist return the favor? Julia Marino, very solid on this down flat rail. I like this 50-50 frontside 360 out. Getting to the end again. What a score, though, for wow. Jamie. A 94. I mean, Julia Marino had a very strong run number one. What can she do? to push back and get into the top spot. Now, I just don't know if Julia has any more tricks than she really brought out in her first run. There's that front side 720. She's got a cap double under flip. We see her put that down. Back side 540. So she's going to be doing the same run she did in run one. The rails were a little bit cleaner. And that landing was a little bit cleaner. Now, this is going to be interesting, Brando. Do you feel that's enough to bump her 90 into a 94 plus? I think it bumps her 90, but I don't know that it gets to be 94.01. Perhaps a point or two. It's great, and I think the judges always applaud when you clean things up, but the trick selection, I just don't know that it's there compared to what Jamie just did. Jamie's rails were very, very solid. So were Julia's, but Jamie had that front side 720. That cab double nine, and you see Julia Marino's cab double underfoot. So when Julia does hers, she goes very back with me, right head over heels. When Jamie Anderson does her cab double nine, that's what you hear the deferation. Double underfoot versus double nine. Jamie's is double nine, Julia's double underfoot. Well, we have a battle brewing. Jamie Anderson taking away the top spot from Julia Marino, but is Marino able to grab it right back? here completing run number two. Cleaner than her first attempt, but is it enough to knock off Jamie? A 92, so a slight increase as we assumed, but not enough to leapfrog Jamie Anderson.